ci spera a nas. At least you're curious. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't touch me. <laughs> You're pretty. <laughs> well, it's kind of late now, but we're learning just from ob observing that llamas only poop in certain areas. They have a designated poop area. And that's their area. And they don't poop in their stalls. And beans from llama poop is good good for gardens. What did you say? Are you the talker? <laughs> huh? <laughs> hmm? Hmm? this face. Me up on the journey. Um, my husband Rick was in the airport at that time and we knew he was coming up for retirement so we were looking for something we got to start up with some information about alpacas and that was the only year they had the national conference in New Mexico. Oh. So we went to Mexico to Rio de Janeiro and she taking a bath. I'm going to fill that up. I'll show you things so you can see this. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Independently. Huh. Yeah. And then here's the staff yeah. that had it and you can see. I know. <laughs> My hands in your mouth. It's not very nice, is it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I know. You can see there's the pad underneath. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And we trim, he's used to for a toenail trim, so we trim the toenails, they're quite easy to trim. We use something a bit like trim the level with a pad. <laughs> so we're actually a bit overdue for a... Has anybody ever felt sheep before? Yeah. yeah. There's something missing though, can we? The sheep have the alpacas don't. I feel a lot softer if you... I can't pick that He'll have about three inches of fleece when we shear him. But what they're missing is lanolin. Sheep have that lanolin oh, yeah, grease oh, yeah. feel to them. Mm -hmm. And alpacas don't have that. So you can actually wash their fleece at any time during the processing process if you want to. I mean, not, most of the mills will wash it when it first comes in. But you could actually spin it raw <laughs> and then wash it later. You smell that? I'm sulking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his name again? His name is Rain, R-E-I-G-N. His full name is Windrush Golden Rain, so every alpaca is registered by its DNA, and they have a unique name in the registry. Hmm. 
And so males are definitely harder to blame than females because males you might be going on to use as a breeding, so you want some sort of a macho Ma name yes. for marketing, yeah, so you don't want to call them fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> And then tonight what we're giving them is a little bit of alfalfa. And we really want to give alfalfa too much alfalfa because it's a bit too rich. Do you want to come in? Yeah. They like to do that, you'll see them chewing on the yeah, stars, mm -hmm. yeah. You watched them do that. Kind of a self-soothing behavior. Mm -hmm. But also his mother was given to our previous bit as a research animal because the babies never lived very long. And so he had Romera, Grant's mother, and then another baby, Anira, and it was following season he asked me if I could take them because he was busy. Unfortunately, Right. Well, weather well, these days seems to go from like yeah, yeah, you know, now 80 you, to freezing. Now <laughs> you, know, you never know, it's getting worse and worse. And then in the summer, we were over 100 all the time. It's very hot. I mean, yeah. This is Amy, she's our youngest staff packer. Yeah, and I bet you, do they have a tough time when it's 100? Um, not so bad because they're dry here. Yeah. If, if we had humidity, they would. And then, and then you've got places for them to get out of the sun, sun so yeah, that helps. Yeah. Out and they're shorn, they're shorn yeah, yeah. in the spring. Yeah, so. good point. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if we were down in the south, you have like Houston area, that's the right. our pack of breeders down there had a really rough time with it. Yeah. This is Rosie, she's. Try and get all the grain put out before she's done, so I can give her just a little bit more because she'll go out and try to find it and get pushed out. Yeah. <laughs> Packers get in trouble. Yep. <laughs> 